So today I found myself thinking something that no human has ever thought before. Thank God I brought the electrode. <laughs> In today's Wi-Fi battle, we've got a pretty interesting match here where my opponent has a team full of kind of some, some more different stuff, so you'd love to see that. Remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoy this content. It really does help out the channel and the support lately has been insane. You guys are truly awesome. But let's go ahead and jump right into the match here. So from the start, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and lead off with the Firo. I can hit some stuff pretty hard with the Choice Band. Plus, I could potentially get a U-turn and pivot and try to build a little momentum from the start here. As he ends up leading off with the Bug with the sweetest mustache and Krikatoon is pretty much here to set up Sticky Web. If they're leading with the Krikatoon, it's probably going to be... Uh, Focus Sash with Sticky Web, something like that. I'm not too worried about it. I do have a Rapid Spinner. And I figure I'm just going to go right for the Drill Peg. I kind of expected him to half lead with the Golem. Um, but I wanted to kind of just U-turn to break that thing sturdy. But now I just get to go ahead and drill the absolute shit out of this man's face. And he does live it with the Focus Sash. And then tosses some Sticky Webs up. Pretending to be a spider. We all know you're a cricket. Can crickets do webs? I don't know. Regardless, he does get the Sticky Web up. I am going to need to get rid of that later. Uh, because I would like to not be slow as shit. So I just decided to stay and go for another drill peg. There's really no uh, consequence here. As he actually ends up switching into old Dildo Neck, the, the Tropius, who for whatever reason comes into a drill peg. I don't know really why you switch that thing in there. Uh, maybe he sees that I have a ton of answers to Tropius and decides to kind of just sack it to be able to get a revenge switch in with the Alakazam. I don't know. But what I do know is that Firo now has a kill, and any day that Firo gets a kill is a good day, so you love to see it. Um, now he brings in, of course, the Alakazam is like the best revenge switcher in the game, and I don't really have much that wants to deal with this thing, but I do have the Clayblade, who can likely come in on a Psychic, as he does go right for the Psychic, and I know that, of course, this thing is going to have coverage uh, for the Clay Doll, whether it's uh, Shadow Ball, something like that, but I know I will be able to at least take one, and that allows me to hopefully get off the Rapid Spin here. My main objective is to be able to get rid of the Sticky Web, and I can kind of sack Claydol at this point, but as soon as I lose Claydol, I don't have an answer to switch into this Alakazam. So he does end up going for the Energy Ball here. I do get the spin off, which is amazing. Don't have to deal with the webs, and that is super important because I have one Pokemon on my team that can outspeed this Alakazam, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the absolute legend, the Spherical Boy Electrode. So, I mean, I even have <laughs> Choice Scarf Rampardos, who's actually outsped by like two points. Um, so that's unfortunate, but. I have to stay in here because, of course, there's nothing on the face of this fucking earth that wants to switch into an Alakazam, especially when my dude is dripping in his pink shirt, um, just styling on me like that. So uh, I do end up losing the Clydol here. This allows me a new switch, and I decide to go into pretty much the only answer, which is the roundest lad triangle. And I do know that he has a golem on his team. I also know that I can't really afford to make a crazy prediction at this point. So I decided to just stay in and go for the Thunderbolt. Going for the predictable play sometimes kind of sucks, but you also just have to feel out kind of the uh, the play style of the opponent a little bit. So I go for the Thunderbolt. Of course, this donut absolutely soaks that shit up. And of course, I have to get my ass out of here because all Electrode is good for is wearing choice specs and clicking Thunderbolt and sometimes exploding. But he do be looking kind of nice in the specs though, for real. Um, but I'm not really worried about it. I can just switch freely into my Vile Plume, which is why it wasn't too big of a risk there. Um, and I also know that there's nothing on his team that wants to take a Sleep Powder. So he's able to set up the Stealth Rock, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, totally fine with it though, I just go right for the Sleep Powder here and pretty much see what he designates to be put to sleep. So he actually ends up going into the Mighty Anna. Now this isn't a horrible matchup for Vileplume regardless, even with uh, this thing's Elemental Fangs, whether it's Ice Fang, Fire Fang, something like that. I know I can take multiple attacks, plus it's only two Sludge Bombs to be able to take this thing out regardless. So. I figure I might as well just leave my stinky ass flower here because we stay stinky out here, boys. Um, and yeah, Sludge Bomb's gonna do like freaking 90% to this thing because Vile Plume is an absolute unit. And my Diana's taken probably the shittiest nap known to mankind. Imagine being asleep and being Sludge Bombed continuously. That, I cannot think of a worse way to take a nap on the battlefield. But uh, unfortunately for him, my Diana does go down. But the good news for me is that now I can actually put something else to sleep if need be. Now the worst part about killing something against this team is that he now gets a free switch into the Revenge Killer Alakazam. And I'm running low on stuff to switch into this. Now, I decided to just go Rampardos. The reason for that is because I'm thinking without the ability to outspeed this thing anyway, Rampardos isn't super useful in this match to me regardless. Uh, I know there's Vaporeon back there. There's just kind of not really much of a reason for me to leave uh, Rampardos here, who unfortunately does not outspeed this thing even with my Choice Scarf. So, I switch that thing into the Psychic, allow it to die, and I am totally fine with that. But now is when I need to make a play happen, or else this is going to go very bad for me. And mainly just because of this fucking serial killer with his two spoons. So, 
uh, I decided to go into Balin. Now the reason for this is just so that I can go for an Aqua Jet, just to ensure that this thing would go down to a Thunderbolt from uh, the Electro, just in case this thing's a weird ass type Alakazam. I'm basically just providing myself some insurance here. So of course, also Balin isn't super useful for the rest of the matchup either, and I figured I just kind of rolled the dice on that Aqua Jet. A critical hit would have been sick, but uh, switching into Balin real quick did not work out for me that time, but that's okay. He did what he needed to do, and now I've whittled that thing to the point where I can pick this thing off with Electrode. But I know he still has the damn Golem on his side, and I know that last time we were in this situation, he did switch into the Golem. So I'm going to go ahead and make a double switch here, predict him to go into the Golem expecting the Thunderbolt, and I decide to bring in Vileplume, the absolute arch nemesis of all Golems worldwide. Uh, so he does end up actually switching into the Golem here, so that is fantastic. I get the matchup that I needed. And I also get all sorts of momentum on my side here. So now I'm at the point where I basically need this Golem out of the way so that then Electrode can thrive. He has the Krikatoon at 1 HP, he has the Alakazam, and he has a Vaporeon back there. So I'm seeing the door open for Electrode and the only asshole in the way is this Boulder. Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles, but I just got right for a nice little Giga Drain here. It of course does knock this thing down to its sturdy and Thankfully he does stay in here, and uh, it's actually not that solid because he ends up actually just exploding. It seems like there's been lots of explosions going on lately, and actually to my surprise, Vileplume is able to live that. At full HP, Nuptype is able to live with 6, and he is an absolute legend for that. Thank you, Vileplume. Um, it doesn't really matter. Actually dying there would have been a little bit more satisfying, because then I can just bring an Electrode immediately. Because now Vileplume has to face the wrath of this motherfucker in his pink shirt. I swear to god, this guy is a full, like, never used team, and then an Alakazam. And of course the only thing I'm dealing with, uh, having trouble with is the Alakazam. So, he is able to get the revenge kill with the Psychic. Um, but now you have to see the speed of my balls, my dude. I'm gonna go ahead and just get a free switch right into Triangle. And with my sick-ass sunglasses, we cannot see the haters and we are ready to make shit happen. So, um, of course I do outspeed because that's the one thing Electrode has going for him. He is slick and fast and uh, you just can't out you can't outrun this dude. He roll. So, I just go right for the Thunderbolt here with the choice specs. Of course, gonna be able to knock that thing out. And his only best answer is gonna be the Vaporeon. Now, Vaporeon takes like 85-ish percent from a choice specs Thunderbolt. And I also know that I can live pretty much any attack that this Vaporeon wants to go for. So, he brings in the Vaporeon here. This is exactly the situation I needed Triangle in, and we were able to make it happen. So I just go right for the Thunderbolts, and to my surprise, I actually am able to get it uh, a one-hit kill with a critical hit, which, like I said, doesn't really matter because of the fact that I could take any attack from that Vaporeon and kill it in return. But my dude is absolutely not going to have that shit, and he just decides to turn his game off. And this, ladies and gentlemen, again, might be the first person ever to rage quit against an Electrode. So, super satisfying to actually see Electrode, you know, do that to people. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I thought this was just kind of a, kind of an interesting match. I don't know. If you enjoyed, leave a comment. Let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.